Hey guys, happy Sunday to everybody. So uh, you're seeing me with my usual half done tutorial face. Um, I'm gonna do another look with the Naked 3 palette for you. I know that Sephora is going to be releasing this in the next couple of weeks and there's gonna be a mad rush for it. So I figured that I would try to get out at least one or two more tutorials with this particular palette before my surgery in 10 days. Um, because I don't think I'm going to be able to do very many after. So today's look is, um, kind of a pinky purpley taupe, very shimmery eye look. Um, I think this is a great daytime look personally. Um, as you can see, it's not super intense. It does, ha I do have a little bit of kind of like a smokiness going on in the crease, but it's not like anything super like obvious or like aggressively smoky I guess so um I'm going to tell you what I have on the rest of my face at the end of this video so let's just get started um the first thing that I'm going to do is take the color strange which is this color right here it's the lightest one in the palette and I'm going to put that underneath my brows and down onto my lid area. Wait, this is a good angle. So bad with this. <laughs> um, so I'm going to use the color tattoo in Inked and Pink as a base today. And this is just kind of a pinky, shimmery pink. <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say. It's shimmery pink. It's a great compliment for this particular palette though because of the pinky rose gold tones in it. Okay, and then I'm just patting that onto my lid. And the reason that I'm putting this base down is because the color that I'm using is on my lid is um, very shimmery, almost glittery, and there's a lot of fallout to it. So I really need the shadow to um, adhere to my eyes, and the only way to do that with a glittery shadow like this is to use a base. I did apply the Urban Decay Anti-Aging Eyeshadow Primer Potion that you get with the Naked 3 palette before I started any of this. I know a lot of people can just use the color tattoos, but my eyelids are really oily, so I always like to give myself um, a good solid base to start with so that the oil doesn't show through. Okay, then I'm going to take a flat shader brush and the color Buzz, and that's you're pointing to it, yep, right there. I'm just going to pack that onto my brush and then onto my lid and really pat that into your lids. because it does have quite a bit of fallout so swiping it kind of makes that fallout a little bit worse and take it all the way to the inner corner okay so once you have that on there you are going to take a blending brush and you're going to go in the color dark side which is this one over here load some of that on there tap off the excess and then put that in your crease I'm concentrating most of the color on the outer part of the crease and then I will work my way in what's remaining
Okay. Then take a pencil brush, dip it in dark side, so that same color that we just used, and bring that along your lower lash line, making sure to connect up in the corner of your eye here. Take a little bit more and then just right in your crease or your socket line, really intensify that dark side color. And make sure to blend until you're totally happy with the color gradation that you have going on. Now I'm going to take a tapered blending brush and I'm going to go in with the color limit, which is right here, the matte. I'm going to get a little bit of that, tap off the excess, and I'm going to go around the outer edges of the dark side. And again, I'm working on my gradient going up to my brows. I did have a little like blemish right here, so if you're seeing some kind of weird darkness there, it's because I scratched it without realizing what it was, and now it's left a nice little scar for me. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and once I have the majority of that product off, also go underneath my lower lash line and just blend that a little bit with this tapered blending brush. Go back with that pencil brush with the color Liar, which is right here. And we're just going to concentrate this on the lower lash line, but the um, inner, I guess, third of your lower lash line. Okay. Last step, go into the color Strange again and just a fluffy brush. Tap off the excess and then touch up underneath your brows. And again, just to help with that gradient. Okay. Very last step is to take your pencil brush again, and I'm going in with the color Burnout right here. Now I'm using a lot of these. You definitely don't have to do this last step, but I'm just concentrating that in the middle of my lid. Just brings a little bit of brightness there. Then I'm going to take just a fluffy brush and brush away some of that fallout. Now I'm going to take my NYX concealer. This is the HD Photogenic Concealer in just the yellow. Put a little bit of that just in the corner of my eye here. And then I'm going to take a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush and work that in. And I normally never do this, but today I decided to do tight lining on my upper lash line. And for that, I'm using the Sephora Jumbo Liner 12 Hour Wear Waterproof in black. This is a really rich black. And if this grosses you out, don't watch. I know I can't watch other people do this, and I have a hard time doing it on myself. Ugh. Okay. 
I do not like doing that. Okay, then I'm going to take another one of those jumbo crayons, but this time in the color Dark Taupe Shimmer. You guys see me use this quite a bit. It's probably my favorite one. Oops, <laughs> lost the lid. And I'm just going to line my upper lash line. Oops, sorry, totally in the way. I'm just basically getting really close to my lashes. My lashes are going through this like <clears throat> shedding phase right now. So um, it's kind of irritating because I've lost so many eyelashes just in the last couple days. And that just tends to happen every few months. It feels a lot more dramatic when um, I use eyelash growth serums and they're longer, but I haven't used it. I haven't used one since like this summer or spring or summer actually. So my lashes aren't really super long right now. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do my mascara, but I'm going to do that off camera. So I'll come back, show you guys the finished look and then tell you what I have on the rest of my face. Hey guys, so back with the finished look. So this is what both eyes look like when they're all done. So you can see it's a pretty, I would consider it neutral. I don't know that everybody would, but I think it's a good neutral daytime look. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys now what I have on the rest of my face. I'll start with my brows. It's the usual Anastasia Perfect Brow Pencil in Blonde combined with a little bit of MAC Omega. On my lashes, today I used a combination of the, um, where is it? <laughs> Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and the CoverGirl Professional Super Thick Lash Mascara. And um, I like the combination of these two, but I think I actually maybe love this just on its own. I'm trying to wean myself off of it because I know I probably only have like another couple of weeks with this mascara and unless I decide to buy it in the full size, um, I'm going to have to go back to just using like my other mascaras, which like I've said before, they're really good and I love them. They're like amazing mascaras, but there is just something about this that's so stinking easy to use. Like it just works so well with my lashes, especially now that they're going through like this like annoying shedding stage. So anyway, that is what is on my lashes. I did decide to line my lower lash line with the Dark Taupe Shimmer, which is what I use to line my upper lash line. Um, so, sorry, no, what is this called? My inner rim? I'm completely at a loss for words today. <laughs> I lined my inner rim, inner lower rim, with the dark taupe shimmer. I figured this would be a little bit less harsh than the black on my lower inner rim. But the black is what I used for my tight line. Can I make this any more complicated for you? Probably not. Okay, let's move on to contour and blush. For my contour today, I just used the NYX Blush in Taupe. You can see I've hit pan on that sucker. I, that probably by the beginning of January, I will need to bust open it back up. For my blush, I used the Lorac Blush in Plum. These are discontinued, but you can find them on the Lorac Cosmetics website for $10 right now. Highly recommend them, especially Rose and this Plum. Both gorgeous. Um, you guys saw the concealer that I used. It's just the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer in Yellow. I need to do an in-depth review on this, but suffice it to say that this is phenomenal. And I would totally consider buying like the like concealer, like actual colored version as well for myself and for my professional kit. This does not crease on me at all. Like I have such problems with that on clients especially. So I need to try this out on a couple of my girlfriends and see how it works on them. Um, but I really like that so far. Um, what else? Oh, my lips. That's going to be a big question. So I just used the Mega Slicks 
Balm Stain in Nudist Colony. And then over top of that, I use the Essence XXL Shine Lip Gloss in Big Night Out. And you can find these at Ulta, and you can also find them at Fred Meyer if you're in the Pacific Northwest. And I think that's it. That is my look for today. Um, Craig and I are actually going out tonight, so um, this is exciting. I get to wear my fancy look out. <laughs> so anyway, if you have any questions, definitely leave me a comment down below. Um, I hope to record one more video today, which is my weekly favorites. I didn't get to do it on Friday because I had a wedding, and then I had the Pearl Jam concert um, that night, which was effing awesome, you guys. Like, so good. I took a couple of snippets. I might put them together in like a little video collage for you, like really short snippets during the concert, but it was amazing. I had the best time. Anyway, I'll talk more about that later. So um, yeah, if you have any questions about this, let me know. Uh, and I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving and I'll see you in my next videos.